love, family love. I love myself. <laughs> I love my friends. <laughs> Skip. Hello. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Big Wendy back with another video, period. And plus, today you guys, I have a very special guest with me here today. Ladies and gentlemen, her. Me. <laughs> Kylie, that's her name. I'm going to leave her Instagram username below and also her YouTube channel. Make sure to go subscribe because you don't want to miss out. Trust me, after you watch this, you're going to come back for more. I know that. Anyways, if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Wendy. Very nice to meet you and I'm very pleased to have you here today. Thank you for clicking onto this video. So as you can see from the title, basically I'm going to be answering some of the, like I had put like a kind of opinion poll on my story where I'm like asking people to ask me like my opinion on different topics. So that's what we are going to talk about today in the video. So we're going to be using Kylie's phone to do this. Because I film on my phone. Bro, I'm not spending $500 on no camera. <laughs> exactly. So the questions are here. So I'm just going to read them out loud. So. Which one do you want to start with first? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Soft love. Okay. So basically, somebody asked me, what's your opinion on self-love? Okay, when it comes to self-love, I feel like self-love, it's you who defines it. Everybody has their own ways of loving themselves to the best way possible. Exactly. Self-love shouldn't be something that's like a principle whereby, oh my God, in order to like, you know, have self-love, you must do masks every day. You must do this and that. No, as long as you're doing things that free your spirit exactly. and make you feel happy and make you feel your best. Ladies and gentlemen, that right there is self-love, period. What do you think about self-love? I feel like self-love is just you doing certain things that make you feel you, you get you don't have to please anybody just do things that make you feel alive things that don't do with anybody else just things that you love exactly question number two my opinion about early marriage okay early marriage is like a big challenge in the world trust me as much as the world has like modernized and everything early marriage still exists in so many places, not only in the African continent, even some parts of the Asian continent. I feel like early marriage is honestly a very bad practice and I feel like it should come to a complete stop because it literally destroys a girl's chances of taking care of her future and everything. You know when someone is still like, still at a young age, you have not yet reached the point in your life whereby you can start now being like, okay, at this age now, I'm successful, this, that. You don't even get to, like, find your full potential in some places. The moment a girl gets her men menstrual periods, you're ready to be a wife. Yeah. You can give, but that's it. They don't care. And I feel like that's so, 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 so bad. And I honestly hope that it comes to a stop soon. And whoever is watching this video, make sure that you guys are also, you know, doing something about it, campaigning about things. Because one thing we are not going to do for sure is sit here, talk about early marriage, and do no campaigns on it. I'm sitting and talking here because if you go and Google me, baby, I got some vlogs on that. <laughs> so yes, it's a very bad practice. I feel like all girls should have the chance to get education, to discover who they are and unlock their full potential. Because trust me, the sky is the limit. What's your opinion on early marriage? My opinion, it's like you should be allowed to like choose when you get to like get to get married. You get like certain ages like let me say the teenage ones you shouldn't be out there being somebody's wife taking care of kids and all of that it's like in our households like as africans we do do it you know without even being married we do take care of our siblings and all of that which like we are ready to get married but just not yet we have to finish school we have goals to achieve <laughs> we have dreams that we are after we're not ready to get married please <laughs> exactly so i feel like no child should be forced to take care of a child when themselves they're still a child i'm Period. a baby <laughs> <laughs> like i'm a baby <laughs> yeah that's my uh opinion on um our opinions on early marriage number two number two three i, I don't know i think it's number three <laughs> my opinion about youtube basically my opinion about youtube is that you know youtube is honestly like a really 
good platform i feel like there are so many things oh my god that youtube has taught me that i never learned at school there are so many videos whereby people have given me advice that i had not received from any teacher before in my life there are videos where i've learned things like how to do you know specific things that i wasn't taught at school for example beating my face like this of course i had to learn it from somebody else on youtube <laughs> gotta give it to them youtubers are really doing it and i feel like when it comes to youtube you're very much free to choose whatever you want to do as long as you love doing it and i feel like for me the most important thing is like when it comes to youtube i take my time with it that's one important thing because one thing i'm not gonna do is upload so many videos with a poor quality come on that's not it so for me the most important thing is i make sure that i create the best content that i can and put in my best effort and honestly i'm in no rush to like have a crazy amount of subscribers there is no day i wake up upload and be like oh my god this video <laughs> i'm gonna get 1k first of all i don't have 1k subscribers yet so i'm not in a rush i'm taking my time with everything and i'm not doing it for the subscribers or because i want people to discover me or shit like that i'm doing it because i love to do it and because it's what i want to do exactly yep what's your opinion on youtube <laughs> i am a person who loves youtube i've loved it for a long time since i was young i used to just watch youtube and it's just something that made me so happy and it's the fact that she started it and other people too have started it i'm just so happy soon i'll join the platform hopefully <laughs> so yeah y'all just and if there are some of y'all that are out there that want to start it but just fear what other people think please just do you yes please just do mm. you and in case you have any questions we'll support <laughs> exactly we are here to support in case you have any questions like if you want to learn how to do anything that you don't know how to do yet as you know to start your youtube channel and everything remember it doesn't have to be perfect and you can always text me okay. on instagram trust me i'm gonna reply i got y'all it's step by step honey <laughs> yes exactly um mental health yep what's your opinion on mental health mental health i feel <laughs> like all teenagers y'all have gone through some deep deep things and you deal with them alone which deals like which leads to like depression and all the mental health problems it's like i want you all to have it in you to reach out to people some that need therapy baby go get you some therapy <laughs> go get you some therapy because mental health is not something to be scared of you can talk to other people talk to people that you feel comfortable with make sure like your mind is out there and you're free don't hide yourself with your problems and think you'll be okay nope go for help <laughs> <laughs> okay okay yeah i totally agree with you and everything i feel like um the moment you open up about mental health and stuff like that i feel like there is strength in, in that personally growing up and everything like that like i was always the person who is smiling anybody who studied with me in high school and primary knows this bro they called me smiling machine if you were in green hill you know that very well <laughs> you just find me like this in the, <laughs> smiling at four seven and then like it reached a point whereby somebody walked up to me and they're like oh my god you have a perfect life i'm like nigga what because i'm smiling i just because i'm smiling trust me i was going through like so many things you know like you said especially like during your teenagers and all of that you go through a lot of things yes. i was going through so much but i was just trying to put up this strong front and act like as if like i couldn't feel negative emotions and all of that mm -hmm. to a certain point i felt like i was trying to convince myself of that and honestly i feel like the reason i did that is because i didn't know better i never knew i feel like mental health is a topic that people have just become more comfortable with as of lately yeah um so basically now i have learned something that's for sure last year when i went for like um a kind of training and all of that so they basically were talking to us like about mental health and everything and trust me that is when i learned how to take care of my mental health that's when i realized i was the kind of person who wanted to take care of the world and everything but trust me i had to learn one thing and this is the quote that as as you're watching this whole video if there's anything you take from this take this you cannot save the world if you have not saved yourself save yourself before you save the world trust me because ain't nobody gonna save you <laughs> that's facts so take care of yourself allow yourself to say no feel free to take your rest feel free to do anything that you want to do that you feel like will help your mental health and i hope that you know that everybody has good days and bad days it's not every day you're gonna be like oh my god sunshine and all of that no everybody has bad days trust me even the celebrities you see online and all of that billionaires what are 
all of them they have bad days and good days so i hope you know that it is totally human and it does not mean you are depressed when you have one bad day do, you, do not start diagnosing yourself and please and please and please i believe that everybody needs therapy honestly so i feel like if you got it like that go get therapy trust me everybody has some unresolved issues exactly yep. and there's also one thing i wanted to say like the people who don't know how to approach others let me say in your times because i would say i'm one of them i don't know how to talk to people about my problems just sit back and do things that you love trust me the depression you're in is gonna a little bit true, you know, true. reduce plus also just do things you love go out you know even if it's solo do it alone you'll be okay exactly exactly actually now uh coming to that thank you so much for that point <laughs> it reminded me of the fact that um some of the things you can do to improve your mental health and stuff like that number one say no enough of the people pleasing come on you don't get an award for doing that mm -mm, they don't care number two pray trust me prayer works for me every single time whenever like you know prayer should be something that you always do I respect whether you like it's up to you you know at the end of the day whether you believe in religion or not if you are somebody who is like religious and believes in a religion and everything like that I recommend praying if you're someone who is like a spiritual person and all of that like you practice spirituality go ahead meditate write down in a journal do whatever you can feel free to sing eat something go for a walk whatever that makes you feel free and fulfilled that's your way of coping with your mental health okay my opinion on um fake friends and their company what do you think about fake friends girl <coughs> <laughs> girl <laughs> i have not had fake friends i would say so because i've not dealt with a lot of girls in my life mm -hmm. so the fake friends part i'm gonna step back and let you have it dang my girl what's <laughs> next my nigga <laughs> <laughs> now it's side it's for the better i mean it made me a better person and learn how to love my own company yeah. well for me basically growing up i think I, I i have a youtube story time on a specific fake best friend that i had i'm gonna put the link in my bio and i'm also gonna add it to this video so you guys can watch it yeah. so from that video you'll understand how much fake company i grew up around so basically, I grew up around so many fake friends. I was the kind of person whom, like, I would laugh with you, give you my last penny, and all of that. But people were still talking about me and everything like that, and then acting like as if they are my friends when they meet me. When it comes to face to face, trust me, people aren't bold like that. They'll just uh, they'll act sweet to you, and then behind your back, go say whatever that they want to say, trash talking and all of that. And honestly, I'm not for it. Like I've reached a point in my life, like after the fake friends and everything. I realized that my power is in being alone and trust me, I could be alone for the longest period of time. And trust me, I wouldn't feel lonely. Why? Because I'm enjoying my own company. First of all, I'm a whole vibe. <laughs> period. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So feel free to like enjoy your own company. It's totally fine to move alone. It's totally fine to do whatever. If you don't, you don't find it good in friendships like that, trust me, you don't need anybody. That's some facts. Exactly. And trust me, fake friends, they're easy to spot. And stop ignoring red flags because trust me, at the end of the day, nothing good will come out of that friendship if, if you keep brushing off like the toxic things that they keep doing. You're only affecting yourself. Trust me. Because trust me, people know whatever that they're doing to you. People know that they're hurting you. People know that they're being toxic. So stop with that whole thing of like refusing to cut people off just because you're trying to hold on to, I have a friend. No. And be nice, but not to a certain level. Exactly. Know be nice, but not stupid. You. Know when somebody's using you. Um, also in that video, like Don, I said, my story time, it also has like, um, some ways on how to spot fake people and all of that. So yes, you guys need to go watch that to know more about my opinion on it. You all know how to spot fake people. You're just there forcing life. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Everybody has <laughs> that off. gut feeling. Just trust your guts. Trust me. They're always right. Whatever I ever felt about someone, bro, it's right. If I meet you the first day and your energy is off, trust me like the way our friendship ends is going to be due to your energy being off too energy too spot that. energy don't lie <laughs> next mm -hmm. somebody asked me a question this is just a question it's <laughs> oh! <laughs> when are you coming to kampala Ooh. i want to see you hopefully one day i'll come to kampala i'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys and be like oh my god i'll come soon i don't know when i'm coming but hopefully 
<laughs> I get to come to Kampala another day. For most of you who don't know, I grew up there. I was there for like five years and all of that. Like I finished my primary school there and started my high school there. So Kampala has a spot in my heart, man. So you just know, hopefully one day. And we'll get to me definitely. Trust me. Um, another question says, your opinion in love. What kind of love? Friendship love? Family love? I love myself. <laughs> I love my friends. <laughs> Skip. That's my opinion in love. <laughs> Bro, my only opinion in love is like, as long as you love what you love, then just love it, man. That's love. Exactly. Love. Yeah, that's it. What do you think on the matter of Western culture affecting African youth? Okay. This question calls for like you to have two different perspectives. First of all, the negative part of the Western culture on African youth and the positive part. I feel like the, the negative part of like the Western culture and all of that, I feel like so many youth have started to become very disrespectful towards like their own families and all of that. Like in a way, people have lost respect in so many ways. Trust me. You find people have reached a point whereby like they bring whoever they're having an affair with to their own family houses. You find people drinking in their own houses and all of that just because they see all of that on TV and it just changes the way in which they were raised. Trust me, in, in, in Africa here especially, as youth, we were not really raised like that. I promise you, all of us when we are young, I feel like we have something in common. We were disciplined. You know, black parents don't play. Thoroughly. Exactly, I'm telling you. That crazy shit whereby like you talk back to your parents, you want to fire backwards, blah, blah, blah. Especially when you know you're in wrong. In the name of, oh my God, I'm 18 and you get whooped, my dear. I got beaten with a broom, with a plate, the back of a knife. Everything in this plan, name it, they have beaten me. Look how I'm disciplined right now. <laughs> Thank you, mom. <laughs> and then the positive part of it, I feel like the Western culture um, has affected the African education system in so many ways and has also made the youth much more aware of many things in their environment youth right now are much more intelligent than most people were back in the days like in the previous years like yes. since the coming of the western culture youth have gotten to learn about advocacy that they're allowed to raise their voices like you know about certain things and also like I said before now, this is the positive part of it. Sometimes we have all lived in a community whereby sometimes like you are not given the opportunity to voice your opinion. But I feel like with the Western culture and as we can all see like on entertainment and media and all of that, you see how vocal these people are. Yes. So I feel like so many youth these days have become very vocal, aware of many issues, have become more aware of things like mental health, climate change and different ways of life like it has really opened like you know new perspectives for youth so i feel like it's a it's a positive thing at most it is what do you think about that i would want to say like the negative part that i see the most which is uh youths let the western culture like get to their culture and norms you get some of people like some of the youths want to forget like their backgrounds where they come from in the name of like i want to be on this one like western culture behavior and all of that first of all we don't talk back to our parents back in africa okay baby because <laughs> you know what that will get you <laughs> don't talk back no no plus also when you're copying the western culture Come and turn it to a way that will please you in the Africa roots way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like mix it with some. The entertainment, like the entertainment part, I like that because we are on YouTube right now because it's something we saw from them. And they really showed us like, yeah, everybody can fit in this platform and you can be as much like, like with much respect as they are. And yeah. And we yeah, love that. Exactly. We love that. we love that. It has given us also ways in which we can connect with so many people all over the world yes. through these platforms of Western media and all of that. Like, you know, like now, I feel like now our voices and everything that we are saying is heard more across the globe and all of that. And we also get to hear things from all over the world reaching to us. So I feel like when people talk about Western culture, they should also include technology, specific norms and you know, the educational system and all of that. But I feel like the person who asked the question is saying it, I think, in a negative kind of way. Exactly. Yeah. But no, we, we are here for... You, you know, you have to see life from different perspectives. <laughs> exactly. Um, 
Uh huh. Somebody say, do you think America is gonna get into recession this year? What is even recession? And no, I don't know anything about that, and I'm not gonna sit here and lie and talk about something that we don't, don't know. know. Mm -mm. That's one thing we're not going to do. Next. Yeah. <laughs> Another person say, <laughs> Messi or Ronaldo, be wise. We don't know who the God is to y'all. But yeah. Whoever the God is, that's the God. Bro, me, I know nothing about football. It's just a bunch of grown men running after a ball, sweating, breaking their legs, Girl. just for something to enter some random net. No, like seriously, this is just my opinion <laughs> on it. I, I know it. nothing about it, so I don't know what Ronaldo does or Messi or who. It's just whoever you like, that's the God. That's it. Gotta exactly. leave it to you. <laughs> Do you, honey? <laughs> yeah, but if you want to teach us more about football, you can write something in the comment section. It's exactly. always good to learn more about something. Mm -hmm. So we can see it in the way that you do. Oh, gee. <laughs> Somebody say, can I have your WhatsApp number? <laughs> no. So. <laughs> Sorry. Um, bro, somebody else said my opinion on my crib. What is that supposed to mean? Bro, are we on MTV doing this show? Like, your crib. <sighs> okay. Bro, my crib <laughs> is my crib. That's it. Does he want to know the location? Even if he knows, will he come? Please. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Um, what can you say about a cheating partner? That's some hot water. I'm telling you, this is gonna talk an hour too. <laughs> <laughs> you talk about it, girl. Nah. <laughs> Next partner, a cheating partner. That will be on some other video, you guys. Yeah, yeah. Needs a whole breakdown. Mm -hmm. Like a whole girl talk video. Um, how the word nigger is used in South Sudan. Is it a lot? Okay, I feel like the word nigger. I feel like most Africans have learned the word nigger from the black people, like the the black Americans and all of that. Yeah. I feel like they're the ones who like, okay, I don't know if you've seen it, but most of the slang that people use these days are things that they have seen on, on the shade room, on Instagram, blah, 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 like things that most black Americans use and all of that yeah. and have now like put it into like their vocabulary. Like somebody would be like, before we would be like, I don't like that. Now it's like, I don't like that. I don't like it at all. I don't all. like it at all. <laughs> y'all be talking a lot. Y'all, y'all, before it was you all. No, it's y'all. Like, it's all of us, the Africans, that are just like affected by that. Because we feel like those are our people, so we can talk like that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so. We have it too. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys have had a lot of things we you have said that it. way. We can't help it. It's just that. But not the nigger part, though. That should be something yeah, yeah, offensive. Yeah, yeah. But then I feel like also now, I feel like one good thing that the black Americans have done, they've been able to turn the word, like, I feel like nigger was a word that was created, you know, like, um, let's say, let me, let me just do some research here before I come and I tell you guys different things. Back in the slave days. Yep. So let's see. Hope nobody gets triggered. If there's anybody who triggered, it's us. <laughs> okay. Wait, Cellular data. Wi-Fi. Okay, it's connected. Oh, it's connected. So basically, now we have Googled. Nigger is a colloquial and vulgar term used in African American vernacular English that began as a dialect form of the word nigger, an ethnic slur against African Americans. Yeah. Where are they nigger. taking the end? Where's the end? <laughs> nigger, where is the end? That sounds like a white man saying it. Yeah, yeah. It is. It is, I'm sure. No hate to y'all though. So, anyways, I feel like um black Americans have like in a way turned nigger to be like a positive word. And it's something that they use a lot like in their community. For example, like when somebody's close to you and stuff like that, like you you know, you really vibe with someone on that level. Like somebody will ask you, you know, for example, like, you know, Kyle, I'd be like, Yeah, that's my nigger. 
like you know <laughs> exactly that's my g that's my nigga exactly <laughs> and at the same time i feel like also to um african-american girls also like to use the word nigga to refer to their partners um also nigga is also like another word that is used like um for gangsters especially in south sudan they be like niggas nigga sad <laughs> The, the collection of niggas. Wait, niggas what? Said. The collection of. The funny thing is, they can call Yanni like one gangster mm -hmm. as niggas. Da. And it's one person. Yeah. And then now, when it's a collection in Arabic, mm -hmm. it becomes Negasat. Wow. Negasat. I've never known. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a word for gangsters and all of that. Then, like, for example, like, you know, where I stay in Gudele, man, Gudele has niggas. But I feel like mm -mm. it's used so much in South Sudan because of the gangsters. The kids it's, and yeah, all it's of used that. so much in South Sudan because yes, of the gangsters amateurs. and all of that. Like, I feel like so the use of nigger in South Sudan is all an effect of the Western culture of the black Americans that we have now found ourselves like, you know, trying to force this culture in two hours, which has been successful to do, by the way. Because we like using those words and all oh. of that. That's a fact. But I feel like the word nigger in South Sudan is mainly used in a, like in, in in different ways it can be used in a positive way and a negative way most of the times i feel like when elders address nigger or negus in arabic yeah. it means they're talking about these gangsters like these young boys who be there like drinking alcohol partying fighting all of that yeah. like the, the gangsters in general they use the word nigger to refer to them while for us like for the younger people we use nigger in two different ways. Some females use it to address their partners in Juba. And, <laughs> <laughs> and also some, some whatever, like some people use the word nigger like, yeah, that's my nigger, me and my niggers, all of that. It means like, you know, me and my friends, my Gs. Yeah, Gs is similar to nigger, same thing. But if I you know like, G, you know nigger. I feel like people who use nigger, I don't know what I can say about them. But it's just, I don't know. It's not giving. Y'all change it. Say homeboys or something. <laughs> exactly. Be like, that nigga. My nigga. The my nigga part is okay. It's okay, Niggas. right? Like, why is nigga so much in your system? What is it doing there? It's Please. because they're niggas. <laughs> <laughs> it's the root. <laughs> they just use the word nigga because they're niggas. That. <laughs> End of story, man. <laughs> Chapter closed. <laughs> exactly. That's all we can say. Woohoo. Let's see what uh, we have bring remaining. Somebody said, my opinion on your personality. So at this point, I don't know whether to read your username or not. My opinion on your personality. One thing for sure, we studied in the same high school and oh, all of that. this is somebody you know? Yeah, this is somebody I know. This oh. is a friend. So... Whoever asked this question knows themselves, so I'm not going to come here and then give out confidential information like who asked me this and who asked me that. So what I can say is we studied together in high school, right? Senior one. Yeah, in senior one, we were together and all of that. And you had my back, honestly. Whenever like people would try to say something bad about me or anything like that, you would always be like, no. You guys are not going to talk about my homie when, you know, and all of that. No, when I'm around you, you guys are not going to do that. And you, yeah, like, that's what I mean. You always had my back. Whenever I needed something and all of that, you were always there for me. And honestly, I'm really grateful to have you as a friend. So my opinion on your personality is like, you're an amazing friend to have. All love. <laughs> yep. Pink. Wait, is and that? done. Yeah, and done. So now we have come to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And please, 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 don't forget to drop a red heart in the comment section to prove that you reached the end of the video. And also, I would like to thank each and every single person. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for watching the video from the very beginning till the end. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Come on, it takes only a minute to do that. Exactly. And give this video a thumbs up. Don't give this video a thumbs up. Like, imagine liking something and you're just watching from the, from the window and then hiding the fact that you like something. No point in that. Give it a thumbs up. Because so you can reach it, yeah. others. If you like it, I like you. That's it. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Period.
anyways and to all my subscribers just know i love you guys so much thank you for all your support your support has been the only reason as to why i'm still uploading till this very day the reason as to why i'm even uploading this video that you're watching right now so i want to say thank you guys so much for having my back and i hope you guys have a wonderful time watching this video send it to your family friends i'm sure there's something to learn from here share it yes share it i'm sure there's something to pick Thank you guys so much and see you in my next one. Stay blessed and hydrated. Mwah. <laughs>